Hi, it's Jennifer McGuire with Hero Arts, and I'm going to show you how to do these candy bags using packaging from Hero Arts. Um, all of these products are from Hero Arts. Here's some gems, and then that big bag is what our clear stamps come in. You find I find a lot of this packaging from all my scrapbooking and card making materials, and I thought I'd just go ahead and put it to good use to make little candy gift bags. Now you can go buy little can um, you know clear bags but these are actually nice and finished looking so it makes it really quick and easy and you've got it on hand anyways. So all of these bags have a different um, size and, and shape. This one I like in particular because it's got a pocket on the bottom and a pocket on the top. So I'm going to show you some things to do with it too. First of all, I've got this long package and I put on top a little pumpkin. And I'm going to show you how I finish this off too. So these are two little new stamps from Hero Arts. They come with little gems on them and they've got a really good price point and they're very high qual um, quality. So um, I'm going to mount this onto an acrylic mount and I'm going to stamp it onto one of these clear bags with black stays on ink. I like to use black stays on ink or white stays on ink. Those are my two favorites because they come out so vivid. So I'm just kind of stamping these Halloween bats across the clear bag. Now one of the nice things about um, stays on is that our stamp cleaner, which is called Ultra Clean, will clean this off of anything. Here's the bottle. So if you stamp something uh, somewhere and you want to get the ink off, or if your acrylic mount gets a little bit icky, you can just spray it with this and it'll take it right off. So you can get a second chance at getting your stamping just right or removing it from a place that you don't want it. So you can see how perfectly clear it is. So I put some candy in there and then I folded a circle and put it over the top of the package. And then I put little staples in and it keeps it nice and secure in there and you can see the bats. And then I just add some stamped images and some ribbon right to the top. Really quick and easy to do. This next one is using those gems where there's like a pocket on the top and a pocket on the bottom. I first stamped a flourish along the bottom with white stays on ink and a greeting on the top. And you can see in the flourish I stamped a few little spiders to it just to enhance it. And it's this tiny little spider that's from our, ho um, our Halloween uh, greeting set. It's a tiny little thing, but it makes it look just perfect for Halloween. Then I cut a piece of cardstock that fits right into this top part and then I'll be able to put candy in the bottom part. I think this would be fun if you do homemade candy, like a piece of homemade chocolate or something, you just wrap it up and then stick it into this package. I just put some M&Ms in here just so you could see quickly how it works. Now I'm gonna punch two holes in the top and I wanna cover up that little hole that's there to hang it on a rack in a store. So I'm just putting some ribbon through here. So this is a really quick and easy one. And I think I might do this with some um, homemade caramels in it for my son's school. I think it's just a fun and cute little package to make. And you can see the white stays on works great on that clear. And there you see, nice finished look and it's just recycled packaging. Now this big one in the background, I'm gonna show you how I did that one next. I use this formation a lot for making little gift bags. So I'm taking this flourish background which is great for just about any style of project and I'm going to stamp it onto this bag. This bag was what um, one of our clear stamps came in. And it opens from the bottom, which is nice, that if you decorate the top, the person can get into it without actually tearing it open. So I cut this piece of cardstock and I folded it over. It's just the same size as the bag, and I'm just putting a little adhesive up there to hold the bag in place. And again, I can fill the candy at the end because the hole is actually at the bottom. Now this is the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. This is my favorite kind of stapler. And I'm putting two little staples on each side to hold the bag in place. You can use these staples as part of like the decoration on the project, but I'm actually gonna cover it up with this piece of cardstock. So now I've hidden all that top and I can easily stick the candy in here on the bottom. Now you can also put gems on these um, clear bags or you can put a mix of black and white stays on or color even with your Copics or any kind of permanent marker. And here you can see I added some decorations to the top and a greeting and then I threw in some candy and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.